the heavy stuff will be tonight into tomorrow. Good morning to you on this Wednesday. Back to work for me. We've got a look outside. This is Catalina. I know it's hard to tell behind me, uh, but you can see the casino here shrouded under all that cloud cover and that light shower activity. We do have uh, temperatures that are going to stay below average. Uh, the clouds are out there. We've got some light showers, but it's going to get really heavy tonight. Potentially very dangerous conditions. We've got this deep area of low pressure. You can kind of see it here on the left-hand side of your screen. Otherwise, maybe you're finally getting out of town or going back home. Back east, we do have some wet weather there as well. 70 degrees in Atlanta. You can see some of those showers in the Gulf Coast near the Florida Panhandle. 60 degrees in New York City today for that high. 49 in Boston. 33 snowy in Minneapolis. 46 in Seattle. And it's northern and central California. It's really going to be hit hard with this area of low pressure. We're tapping into this atmospheric river. We've talked about that. It's really all of this moisture that is offshore, we sometimes will refer to it as that Pineapple Express, all of that moisture extending all the way from the tropics and even into the Hawaiian Islands, all of that water and that rain aimed at northern central California, 60 degrees in San Jose there today. We're not going to be uh, cut off from it. No, no, we'll be part of it, which is a good thing. We need the rain. Uh, we definitely could use some, and that's what we're expecting. This is one of our computer models here, and you can see some of the darker green areas. Again, part of the bulk of that system moving into northern and the central coast. We've got a lot of snow in feet, in fact, talking about that into the Sierra Nevada. Here's our local future cast. You can see the light showers that's falling out there right now. The heavier stuff offshore. As we put this into motion, you can see how it moves up by this afternoon, 5.30 to 6, you can see some of that heavier, those heavier cells moving into parts of Ventura County, Santa Clarita, Burbank, in the Valley. And then look at the yellows and the oranges and reds. This is as of the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning's commute, 4 a.m. Burbank, Malibu we're, Malibu, we're seeing some of those heavier cells. We've got the freezing rain and snow up into our mountains. The rain continues through the morning and afternoon commute before it starts to slow down during tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. The bulk of the moisture will stay out towards the Inland Empire and parts of even the Coachella Valley. So again, two to four inches of rain potentially for us here over SoCal for the coast and valleys, upwards of four to eight inches possible for the mountains and foothills. We've got a lot of advisories, a lot of dangers out there, including a high surf advisory. We've got some big waves rolling in. These swells generated by these storms, 12 to 16 feet for Ventura LA coastline, eight to 13 feet for the Orange County coast. As a reminder, stay off those rock jetties. Don't ever turn your back to the ocean if you're standing on the sand watching some of those waves rolling in. We do have a flood watch that goes into effect tonight through Friday. Rainfall rates with this system expected to be half an inch to an inch an hour. That crosses that threshold for uh, triggering those mud and debris flows. So we really could see potentially some flooding, some mudslides possible. You really want to stay alert, especially if you live below those camps or below those recently burned hillsides, rather. Uh, again, two to four inches for the coast and valleys. This is through tomorrow night. That's a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. We've had about a tenth of an inch so far for the month of January. We still have a surplus, almost three quarters of an inch. And if we add another inch and a half or so to this, that brings us to a really good spot in terms of our drought conditions. Here's your seven day. It's going to stay kind of unsettled. As soon as we get through this really strong storm tonight, tomorrow, Friday, we'll see slightly drier conditions, even part of the weekend. But we do have showery conditions still by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week, potentially with another strong storm by next week, Wednesday. Mountains, a lot of snow up at our local resorts, about 37 degrees tomorrow, 60 degrees in the Coachella Valley today in Palm Springs to 59 tomorrow with Still some showers expected there. All right, let's do some TV shout outs really quick. Still, I'm still in that holiday mood. So a happy first birthday to you, Chanel. Your human Jasmine sent us this cute photo of you. And what a beautiful family. The Arena family. Merry Christmas from them. Your granny and poppy from Rialto, California. Love you very much. And very happy family here. I love that photo. Keep those pics coming. All you have to do is email them to us. Make sure you attach the photo. Email TV shout outs at fox.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this quick break.